happening here locally weather wise and another nice night. The termites are out in full force. <laughs> so if you're enjoying that tonight, have fun, <laughs> man. Bad. There, it's a real bad night for them, huh? I, Have it, you seen some I, of the pictures? Oh, yes. I'm going to show a couple of those pictures. Were they by your house? Uh, on the way back, they were slamming into my windshield. I couldn't Ugh. see. It was oh, a man. Safety issue. I hate those things. <laughs> All right. So let me show you what's happening. I don't think the cold front's going to help with these termites. You know, that's just going to take time. The ground is warmed up, and so they're leaving the ground and they're visiting all of us. Cold front looks like it's going to move through early in the morning. We do have a chance of some showers, isolated storm with it, but the truth is the bulk of the activity is well to the northeast. Meanwhile, we can zoom in and check out what's happening. I see a shower over here along Interstate 49. That's the closest ring to us right now. But today, let me tell you, it came down on the South Shore. Not everybody got it, but we did have a couple of uh, severe weather reports over in Terrio. We had a report of a water spout. Here is a look at the rainfall totals and over towards Boothville, believe it or not, that was one of the highest rainfall totals. We can check out the rainfall total 1.98 at Boothville. Bell Chase over an inch. Audubon had 58 hundredths of an inch of rain. It's kind of interesting. The report came out that Audubon had hit 90 degrees and then they backed off on that thinking that the thermometer wasn't right because they'd also had some rain. So the official high is 87. And then you can see downtown had about 13 hundredths of an inch of rain. Here is a look at that water spout. That was Ontario. Ryan Knight sent it in. He's on Gumbo 94.9 FM. So we thank you for sending in that twit pick. And then look, here is a look at some of that high water on the West Bank. You know, just some of these storms sat there and dumped some rain, and then most locations had absolutely no rain at all. We can look at the cold front. Here it comes early in the morning, pushing to the south. We pick up that northerly flow. Drier air moves in. But when you have sunshine and dry air, you heat really efficiently. High temperatures are once more going to be in the mid 80s. So much for that cold front, right? But as you go into Saturday, clear skies, lighter winds, temperatures are going to drop with that lower humidity. We're going to be near 60 on the North Shore, could have some 50s. South Shore in the mid to the upper 60s. So Saturday looks like a beautiful day with your high temperatures in the mid 80s. Then we got another front moving through and kind of stalling out. That could give us a slight chance of rain for Sunday. Looks like that's going to be more to the west. Just be aware of that. Here is a look at the wildflower field over in City Park. Have you been there? It's just beautiful. Nola Spice Design sent that in, and I want you to notice all of the pollen on that bee. That's really good. And then Wesley Robinson was out flying his drone. You can see the city with the blue skies after all of that rain. And it was a beautiful ride. This is healthy New Orleans out on a bike ride and said yes, it was very humid out. Beautiful view from Bill Armstrong, a sunset sail. Isn't that a great picture? And then here they are, Scott Adriana, Look at all of the termites. This is in Bell Chase. Dale Riley sent in that twit pic. And then another one from Wayne. This is in Gentilly. Doesn't look that bad, but he said it was really bad. Had trouble getting to the house. So 88 was the high at the airport. The average is 85. The record, 91 degrees. But I want you to notice you can get colder air in here. 47 was the record low temperature. We can look at these highs. Bogalusa was 91. Hammond. 90, Baton Rouge 91, 87, the official high over at Audubon, 85 at Gulfport. Temperatures right now haven't cooled off much at all. We've got that southerly flow sending in the warm, moist air, but this is cool. Shows the winds shifting. So by 6 o'clock, we're really beginning to pick up that northwest flow. Could have a little bit of patchy fog. Then the sun comes out and it looks pretty nice. Low temperatures, upper 60s to the low 70s. High temperatures tomorrow are going to be climbing into the mid 80s. So let's check out that forecast. And here we are, three in the afternoon, about 85, partly cloudy in the morning. Then skies become mostly sunny. Look at these lows for Saturday morning. That'll be nice. Also for Sunday, I should put more clouds in there for Sunday. Monday, slight rain chance. And then your rain chances really go up for Wednesday and Thursday. Plenty of warm, moist air moving in ahead of another cold front that's going to move our way.